<laughs> we may. Um, so I, recording um, this, I don't know, we'll get some updates from folks, but this is definitely our last meeting for the year. I'm out of town and then it's Christmas and then it's New Year's. And so I think we're going to be on the same kind of schedule as DNI. I think your next meeting is the 7th of January, something along those lines, and ours will just be the 8th of January. Um, I think we could all probably use a break a little bit. I don't know if anybody's able to take a break, but <laughs> I wish you could. <laughs> so, um, so I think, you know, at least from my end, one of the big things was the, the new metrics page. So a lot of you had, had seen that. So um, for those of you that haven't, is that, has that been merged, Georg? I was just remembering that I wanted to merge it. Okay. <laughs> there we have, that's why we have these meetings. Cool. Um, well, the deadline for anyone saying no, don't do it was yesterday. Oh, it was. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So it is merged now. Oh, all right. Well, just like that. Um, I actually just saw, I was in the pull request and I just saw it change from proposed to merged. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> like the little, have a really little nice rectangle interface. Like and it turned purple while I was on the page. It's also fun to have an issue open and then push something that closes the issue automatically. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a low bar for fun, right? <laughs> so um, anyway, now we have this. So this is great. I'll post it here just in the chat. So this is based on the conversations that we've kind of had going on for quite a while now. Um, the only thing that's not in here, Georg, was the additional column member about whether or not this metric is currently kind of being considered or housed within one of the work groups. So I figured just one step at a time. I'll put in an issue to add the DNI metrics because yeah. they're mostly missing right now. Yeah, exactly. So that was kind of then the other issue, which was then kind of cross-checking against the DNI work group and also cross-checking against growth maturity and decline work group, just to make sure. Again, I didn't want to pile everything into one full request. I thought we could do it kind of in a series of phases. So, um, and I'm happy to do that cross-check too. I don't want to, I can do that. So you can assign that to me, Georg. Okay. And the cross check with GMD. You may just want to put it all in one, one issue. Okay, I'm rewriting it. But that shouldn't take too long. Um, okay. Cool, thank you. Um, not not to derail the conversation, but I think some of the content you've added to the README could potentially be used for the other for the working groups as well. Um, at least like the first two sections, maybe. The the goals. Yeah. Yeah, I, I actually, I mean, I didn't really add much content. It was just it was mostly just kind of like digging through the repository and trying to get everything up on one page. So, um, and I like, I like kind of some of the things that, uh, that I was seeing. So goals and reasons to assess health, you think, Ben? Um. Definitely the goals, maybe like the opening paragraph too. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if the reasons to assess community health. Maybe. maybe. Okay. I left those in there only because they were, like I said, they were in the repo. So yeah, whether or not they... Yeah, no problem. Sure. Okay. I don't think they get in the way really at all. Yeah, one of the things we just talked about in the diversity and inclusion working group, um, we've been going through our goals for um, for 2019. Yep. One of our one of our goals that we're working on is um, the goal to have the diversity and inclusion included in the main chaos 
kind of vision and goals. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the goal right now on the metrics page, it doesn't talk at all about diversity and inclusion. There's no, no real mention of that. Um, no mention of things like the ethical considerations that we should be thinking about as we, um, you know, gather and use metrics. Mm -hmm. So I think we should probably do kind of a, kind of a goal revisit in one of the main working group um, like this meeting, but the, the first one of the month mm -hmm. or in, or in the board. I mean, wherever you think that discussion is most, most appropriate, but I do think we need to revisit the goals a bit to make sure that we're um, that they reflect all of the stuff that we're doing right now in the project. Okay. Um, so would you, do you think that needs to be in the charter? Okay. And then also yeah. um, reflected on the web page. I was hesitant to put goals on this metrics page because the metrics page now isn't really a work group. I don't, I yeah. Mean. Yeah. Yeah. I just think we should be, um, yeah, we probably just need to be consistent and that's good. And how we talk about it and just make sure that we've covered what okay. all of the working groups are doing. Yeah, that's fair. That'd be good. Totally fair. If we want, obviously if we want to change the charter, we'll bring that up in, um, are you going to go to California? For the leadership summit? Uh, yeah, I should be there. Okay, great. Because we're gonna that's our next board meeting. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, that's I think that's completely fair. And if um, honestly too, if uh, with respect to the web page or the or this repository, the metrics repository, mm -hmm. if there's a consistent language that DNI wants to put forward, those can both just be issued in pull requests. Mm -hmm. So I, I have no no problem with that. Yeah, I think right now we have a we have a goal to make sure that it's included, but we haven't actually spent the time to figure out how we should include it or what the okay. language should be. So the, we're, we just know that that this needs to happen so that it's okay. more consistent. Okay. With what we're doing. Okay. Well, that sounds good. I mean, it might it might actually make sense to get it into the metrics page and mm -hmm. the web page first, mm -hmm. so that it um, so that when it comes up uh, with respect to the board and the charter. There's at least some precedent for example. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, cool. Um, all right, great. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I missed last week's meeting, so I wasn't uh, completely aware of the metrics page that was being uh, published here. Uh, I have a question about the You're breaking activity up. metrics that are on that page. Yeah. Okay. I hear you. Uh, did you hear the question? No. Okay. Uh, what is what is going on with that? Is that supposed to be just a catch-all for all the metrics that are identified, or is this an area where DNI and GMD publish the metrics that they've identified? The former. The former. Okay. Yep. So just a a way to capture so all the content. The, the the current form. You're breaking up, Kevin. But okay. the current form of this is um, really just trying to capture everything that we're hearing out there. And I, I think it does a couple things. One is it it doesn't we're we don't lose any conversation that may not currently reside in GMD or DNI. Um, I think it also highlights perhaps uh, metrics that people want that we don't have any work being done on at the moment. They're kind of orphaned in this list. Um, so for example, organizational diversity was, I don't mean, I'm not bringing this up again in a lot of detail. However, <laughs> that wasn't the point, but, but I mean, it's, it's obviously a metric that a lot of people are clamoring for. And, and the question becomes, where does it reside? Which I think is a very fair question. Um, so it's just a way to make sure that we don't lose sight of, of what people are, are hoping to see. Okay. Uh, it is it is different than what resides in GMD currently. Yep. So we will, so part of one of the issues that I think, I don't know if you posted it, Gary, I didn't look, but we need to map, he did. So currently what is in growth maturity and decline and what is in diversity and inclusion does not map one to one. So the the metrics that say DNI has brought up um, are not in this list, and we need to we just need to make sure to capture those over in the metric side. 
Um, and I, I would do that. I wouldn't even ask the work groups to do that. That shouldn't be too difficult. And I participate as do many of us in all of the work groups. So if we just need to do, you know, one or two, I don't think it's a huge amount of volume. So we need to do the mapping. Um, and then as part of that mapping, there's gonna be a, a third column in this table. I don't know what the column is gonna be called. Work group or something like that. Presence in work group. Um, and we can actually indicate if a particular metric is being considered in a work group at the moment. So you can take a look at the issue that I posted, which prototypes what we just talked about. That way we have a good idea of what oh, we're talking about. Work group. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so a little bit more work to be done. But I think it's a little cleaner to see how that work can be done now, now that we have this pull request done. Okay. Cool. Um, that was it for me. D and I. I wasn't at your meeting on Monday. Was there anything do you wanna chat about or no? You good? We basically just reviewed the goals. So we have the goals okay. document that you can find in the issues yeah. list if you wanna have a look at it. But we uh we just kinda went through that in a lot more detail. Okay. Are you still working on that um the Google Doc? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I see. All right, no, I'll take a look at that. Just to kind of keep up the speed, that's all. Yeah, no, we'd appreciate your feedback. Okay, great. Um, what concerning the question, the yeah. other question concerning the metrics. Uh, so every working group would point to that metrics, right? So the working groups would really just be responsible for maintaining their set of relevant metrics within their repository. That's it. Okay. And myself and I think Ben's a maintainer on this metrics repository and Georg. The three of us would just make sure that that what's occurring in the work groups is represented here in this list. Okay. So I, I don't I, I don't want to ask the work groups to maintain the mapping. The way that I think of this metrics repository, it's in the index. So when you go to the back of a book and you want to figure out where certain metrics are used, you look up at the index and then you go to the work group or the chapters that have the details. Mm, okay. Okay. Yep. So they're just there like reference points, like pointers. Yep. And so Armstrong, when you're, when you're out and about talking to people, if there's a new metric that people talk about, that you think is interesting, I think the first first place to consider it is in this this index. Okay. Because we hear, I think we all hear a lot of different metrics all the time. So, um, did you in the DNI did you talk about the README at all? No, we did not. Okay. Um, so just to mention, I don't. Uh, uh, I got all the structure work. I was waiting to send you yeah. a request for, let's say, the content, because you see, like the introduction, right? It needs some like two paragraphs. And currently, it was mixing. If you look the current uh, readme file, the introduction was mentioning things in the G, G and I, and that's why. I think the other people said, okay, we should focus on on the DMG. Okay. So like the content of each of those body work, we really need to need to work together to know actually what will go in. I tried to do some few ones, but I adjusted the structure to be like the standard one. Yeah. Right. yeah, I was just waiting to discuss this with you to see what will be going in for the content itself. So especially the introduction. Do you think it makes sense to, um, so if I'm looking at it again, the GMD, I'll post it here. This one. Are you in front of a computer, Armstrong? Yeah, I just want to open it right now. Yeah. I assume that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. So you just want some clarity 
on that first bullet point on that what Ben for example when we talk about the introduction you yep. know they say one paragraph description what are we describing that's some of the things that I, I yeah that's fair um, so so the way that I approach this um, the goal is to create <clears throat> cognitive funneling right so the first one line description is going to be like if you if you have five seconds to explain what this repository is about, um, that's what the first line states. Um, so it just gives you a very very general understanding of what the purpose is. Then you the next paragraph goes into a little bit more detail and just describes things like this is a part of the chaos effort. Um, this is uh, our focus. The focus of this working group is on X Y Z. Um, uh, things like that. So you just get into a little bit more detail and include a lot of links to other gen more general resources related to the metrics efforts. Yeah, I, I got that point. My, maybe my worries or limitations were like the material itself, like you mentioned, right? Let's say, for example, I want to write concretely the X, Y, Z. What would that really be? Because maybe I'm, I do not have enough information about that area on that introduction. Yeah, because we have to. Yeah, write some of, some of it is some of it can just be pulled from, like the the current README has a section that says what is this working group about. Yeah, at the very top. A lot I used that content. one, but the only thing was that it still had a sentence that was still linking to the DMI, and I think you guys uh, yeah. were not satisfied with that one. So if I'm looking at your pull request, right? Mm -hmm. in the GMD work group? Yeah, but I've not yet, I've not yet issued a new pull request for the, for the new structure. I just wanted to fill in that gap and at least send something that will be easy to... What if, um, uh, can you, are you, have you, you have this forked in your own repository at the moment? Yes. Can you send me the link and maybe the two of us could work on that before okay. I should pull request? Okay. okay. How, yeah. how about that? Yeah, that works. Okay. Because mm -hmm. if, if um, D and I hasn't done, you haven't done anything on the readme? Is that correct? So in that case, maybe you can hang tight and just kind of see what the GMD one looks like as we push that through and then use that as a template following Ben's um, ben structure that works for you at DNI. Sounds good. Yep. Okay. Anybody that's told to wait on doing work usually agrees <laughs> Whole, wholeheartedly. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, you could just send that to me, Armstrong. You and I can work in your repo. Okay. That works. Cool. Uh, great. Uh, events, folks, what's going on? We are waiting for the speakers to get back to us. Nico okay. was coordinating with the speakers, so once she forwards um, anything, I'm going to update the agenda for or the schedule for ChaosCon. Okay. Um, right now, we have a template which um there actually i just forwarded you an email from her it was sitting in my must approve okay so these are speakers for chaos con the like, chaos con. Keynote? uh keynotes and regular session talks okay i think we've confirmed both of the keynotes we just um what we don't want to do is put the session talks on the website before we have confirmation that the speaker can actually still attend. I gotcha. And make sure that they actually saw the email from Nicole so that they don't see their name on an agenda and not realize that it was there. Gotcha. Okay. Who are the keynotes? Um, uh, Nithya Ruff is the like first keynote and uh, Brian Profit's the afternoon keynote and I'm drawing a blank on the woman Yo, who's doing the session. Go in the morning. So. Yes. Thank you. Fantastic. That's cool. Good job. And all three of them already agreed because then I'll put them on the schedule. 
Do we have uh, the title of the keynotes yet? Unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent question. Uh, Brian's we do because he submitted it as a proposal. Um, Nithya, I probably not. We need to get a title and an abstract from her. Um, and I don't know, did we get a title and an abstract from Hildika? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, she just confirmed. I don't think she. I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty generic. We talked about the state of chaos, I guess, in 2018. Mm -hmm. But I think you could probably, we can probably just make something up and make sure it goes okay with it. But, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and we'll ask Nithya. I mean, what I, what I pitched to her was um, kind of how you use metrics to make decisions within open source program offices. Um, so I asked her to speak something kind of around that, which should be easy for her. Um, yeah, especially if it's, like really, if it's really applied, that would, mm -hmm. like, that would be super cool. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what kind of metrics they have within their open source program office, but um, Nithya is pretty diligent about stuff like that, so I'm going to guess that they do. Okay, great. And it'll be interesting to see what they are and how they do it. Cool. Um, all right, cool. Great. Um, so I, I guess I had one other thing. I'm going to have to go here probably at the bottom of the hour. Um, the I know the GMD work group, one of their big uh, – goals for 2019 is to actually do deployment of their metrics through their tooling. So I, and I understand that GMD is a very different, um, a very different work group than DNI, just in terms of how you think about the data. Um, but I do know that implementation is a, is a very large goal for, for GMD and specifically towards ChaosCon is beginning to implement some of the focus areas that they're working on. So I don't know what the sense is from DNI about that. The 2019 could house not just these are the things to take a look at, but here's how you might think about collecting the data, even if it's just published methods. Because I understand a lot of the data that you have, right, is not available, or a lot of the data you need, I'm sorry, is not available from digital trace data, right? It just isn't. Um, but even just orienting people on how they might think about collecting the data. So we are actually, we have four objectives for next year. Okay. And objective one, right after zero, is to, uh, to see deployments and partner with projects to deploy the metrics. Okay. And we know... I think we talked about at least three projects that already started doing it. And okay. so next year is all about working with them to and reporting back what they find, what the feedback is, how it works, okay. how they did it, and to capture that. Okay. Do you have a, a way of, of capturing that? So I guess what I mean Not is yet. that, what, okay. Um, because like in, in GMD, right, the capturing is, again, kind of technical. You can capture it, say, in Grimoire Lab or Augur. <laughs> you can say, look, we deployed these focus areas. Download these tools and you'll see them. Um, and I think in DNI, it's a little bit, it's not that, right? Yeah, I think we'll fall back to something like writing blog posts about how it was done and okay. updating our documentation with the best practice that we learned. Okay. Uh, I think D and I might have to focus a little bit more on how, how to express that than maybe growth maturity and decline will. At least that's my thought. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not thinking right. But. Nope, it's definitely something on our list for next year to okay. figure out. Well, I would love for 2019 to be the year of deployment. <laughs> That's what we should call 2019. So I think That's 2018. Amazing. <laughs> that sounds a great title. <laughs> uh, I think 2018 was kind of the year of organizing. Is is what it came down to. Which is completely fine. Um, but 2019 is year of deployment. It'd be great. All right. Cool. Um, what else? Folks. 
Anything? Good. All right. Well, um, I, like I said, I've got to go at the bottom of the hour. So I'm guessing that will mean everybody's going to go. <laughs> but I shouldn't make that assumption. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I need to go at the bottom of the hours anyways. But I just want to say happy holidays to everyone. But, yeah. Likewise. Happy holidays. Yeah, absolutely. I hope everybody has. Have a great has. break. Yeah, have a great break. And you can find some time off. I'll be in California next week. So. So you guys are getting ready to come to Montreal. Uh, when? For the conference? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if anybody. Who's going to Montreal? For the, this is for Sohil, right? Yeah. It's actually in my university. Oh, it is? Yeah. When is it? I think that should be in summer. Yeah. Actually, summer opens up quite a bit for me. So okay. let me put that on my radar. I'd like to come up there and hang out with you anyway that's nice yeah. all right cool all right well everybody have a great break and i'll send out a note we're not meeting for a long time so i'll see i'll right. see you in 2019 <laughs> <laughs> hey guys okay take care everybody thank you bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.